listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where we show you how to do life and business confident, focused, and with a plan so that you can make more money, have more free time, and less stress. Your host, Wayne Withersby, will uncover actionable hacks, strategies, tips, and insights you can use today to live a better, more productive life. It's time to boost your mindset, confidence, and your attitude. Here's your host, Coach Wayne. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're talking about seven secrets to reclaiming confidence that successful people seem to always know. Right, Winston Churchill once said, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm, right? The problem is, enthusiasm can be hard to come by, especially when you, you're just taking kind of an ass kicking or a beating, right? Setbacks and disappointments have a way of knocking it down. We start doubting ourselves and lose sight of who we really are. Without confidence, it becomes almost impossible to try, which is pretty much guaranteeing failure. Thankfully, we know one thing for certain. Confidence can be reclaimed. As very successful people know, it can be done. Listen to discover the seven successful things that people know about reclaiming their confidence. The first one is they remind themselves they can do it. Successful people recognize failure is normal. Getting there won't be without the bumps and the hiccups. The important thing is when trying to regain confidence, try to realize success is still a possibility or even probability. This is where you remind yourself of your goal and visualize success all over again. Number two is they walk away. There comes a time where a break is the best thing you can give yourself. Confidence wavers when you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed. Don't forget that. Doing a hobby you love or just taking a walk or spending time with friends and family does a lot towards regaining a positive mindset when you're feeling frustrated. Next thing you can do is revisit the past. Where have you succeeded before? Where have you failed? Everything that comes before is teaching. There's a teaching moment. What do you know about yourself already for these events and what happened? Understanding you of yesterday is where your insights come from today. Confidence comes from using this knowledge well. People, successful people also forgive. Hating yourself for some mistake you made isn't going to make you know get you anywhere. And that only destroys your confidence. Being able to let go and forgive the past is crucial to your future success. And then they keep a handle on what they're saying out loud. Self-talk can be particularly destructive to your confidence. How do you talk to yourself? Are you patient and understanding or do you tend to lean towards the negative? See, grabbing a hold of those mental put-downs will preserve self-confidence. You, using more positive statements will be a huge step forward. And then start over. The only sure way to fail is to do the same thing in exactly the same way when you're already failing every time. Rather than force failure onto yourself and eradicate confidence, revamp the strategy. Ask yourself how you can do things different this time. And then keep trying. Persistence always pays off. If you fail and stop, you'll always think of yourself as a failure. Because remember, failures are your first success because you started, you tried, you took the first step. It's the person who gets up and tries again who builds confidence as they go. See, in the end, the only way to reclaim your confidence is to put intentional work into recovering. By using these tips... You'll get there, I promise. Recognize the process can be kind of slow sometimes, but success truly does lie within your grasp, even after a few setbacks. 
I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe. Take care. Sell a bunch. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast. Please hit the subscribe and notification of new episodes button and visit us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok for bonus content. 